Hey folks, Mav here and I'm back with another review, and today's review is on Transformers Collectors Club 3.0 Croc and Night Racer. Now, for those who don't know who Croc and Night Racer are, <laughs> neither do I. Okay, I jest. Croc is based on the Action Master that originally came out in 1990 and first appeared in the Marvel Comics, and was a major character in IDW's More Than Meets the Eye and Lost Light. Night Racer is an OC turned canon, I mean a botcon character. Yeah, that's what I meant. So that's about it for the background, so let's get on to the actual review starting with Night Racer. Night Racer is a straight up repaint of Thrilling 30 Tailgate, which we'll get in more to in a minute, as she includes a minicon being Shakar, which is a repaint of Groundbreaker, it's not that good of a figure, as it has two points of articulation, which is its hands and arms, and that's about it. Also the molding on it is hard to tell what is what, like, these two black slabs are supposed to be its legs, like, it's a bit clearer on Groundbreaker due to the peg being a different color from the main body, and Groundbreaker being brighter in general, however it's all black, so any detail is just kind of gone. Another issue is its transformation, which is just falling on its face. It does have another mode, which is probably the most impractical weapon mode I've seen, and it's an automorph. Like, I don't mind automorphing, however when it lowers the posability of a figure, or the transformation for something that doesn't even look good, that's when I have an issue. Now onto Night Racer herself, and like all relationships, I love her, but I have a lot of issues. So let's start with posability, it's kinda bad, as the farther the head goes about 45 degrees due to the head being the front of the car and having a peg hole. Honestly, I would rather the shoulders make the entire front rather than forcing in a peg hole for a useless side item. She has decent shoulder joints, she also has a bend in the elbow, and that's it for the arms. Well, she can turn her arm mode, however that's only to make the door and car mode and nothing else. You can't even bend the elbow when you turn it, which sucks because it limits posability after the legend scale finally became good with figures like Swerve. Now, the legs are alright, it moves up and has a knee bend, and the knee can turn slightly due to the ball joint, and if you flip the thighs, you can go out, however, I personally don't like how that looks, so I don't do it. Finally, let's talk about the figure's design, which I like, as unlike Tailgate, there's a good color distribution, and the light blue breaks up the sea of black pretty good. And I also like the sculpted details and proportions, so I can look past the posability, but it's still an issue I have and I felt I needed to bring it up. Now on to Croc, who is a remold of Thrilling 30 Megatron and includes an armed Micron repaint to his weapon partner Gatorator. Now yes, it does have limited articulation like Shakar being one in the head and two in the tail, however I don't mind it here as one, there's an actual transformation and it looks like a practical weapon when you transform it, and two, you can tell what's supposed to be in robot mode. Now. Onto Crockett himself, he has a ball joint in the head, a ball joint in the shoulder, which is a bit wonky due to the transformation, a bicep swivel, a bend in the elbow, I guess there's a tilt in the wrist, but they don't really do anything. He has a thigh joint, a knee swivel interestingly enough, a bend in the knee, a toe and heel joint for transformation, which unless you have a flight stand, the feet joints are kind of useless. Basically, I'm a flight standless virgin, I'll admit it, just don't bully me. Now onto the figure's design, which I like a lot aside from the chest unpegging every once in a while, but that's a minor thing at the end of the day. The color layout is great, for example, the neon pink and green pop out against the black and metallic blue really well. The head looks good, but I have one issue. When you tilt his head down, it looks kind of awkward as he goes face first into his titty. But other than that, I enjoy the robot mode very much, and real quick size comparison with other figures in my collection. Here's the transformation with Night Racer, and before I start, I'm not going to be doing these step by step anymore, because it feels like padding, and in most cases, I don't have much to say. Keyword being most. So yeah, let's just get on to the transformation, which is really simple and fun, so at least that's good. Oh wait, I forgot to transform Shakar. There, I transformed the stupid thing. Overall, I like the car mode. It has the same good color scheme as before, but with a lot more black and less blue. But there's still enough blue to pop out. Also, I was waiting to bring this up, but I wish there was a Decepticon symbol in robot mode. I get that Tailgate didn't have it, but it really wouldn't look weird on the chest, but that's a minor thing at the end of the day. Now onto the Croc transformation. It's pretty fun and has a couple neat tricks with the shoulders, the chest, and the waist, but is overall simple. I know some people probably have issues with the parts forming wings, and I get it, but I personally disagree, as it's kind of minor at the end of the day. However, I do understand why someone might not like it. Gatorator only has three steps and turns into a gun. It's a gun. I have nothing else to say. Now, Croc on the other hand, I really like how he looks. As you expect in robot mode, since he was colorful, he would kind of be missing the point of a stealth bomber. 
However, aside from a bit on his underside, most of the bright colors disappear, and yeah, he still has the pink, but it's for a windshield rather than highlights, aside from the tip, but that's really small. Once again, size comparison with some other figures, and I don't have much else to say, so time for final thoughts. Do I recommend these figures? Yes, but only if you can find them both together for about 60 to 70 bucks, maybe 80 at most. As well, a price like that I would say is a bit steep, however they are rare figures, but with how the tailgate mold isn't the best, despite the fact that I like it and how I was able to find these to that price myself with the box, anything else above, especially if they're by themselves, is not worth it personally, but in the end, that's up to you. Anyway, this is Mav and I'm signing out, bye.